Hi there, I'm here to talk to you about uh, setting up your computer system to be able to do some Zoom um, training. So um, this is when you want to present to the participants who are joined into your Zoom meeting. So I'm going to take you through the microphone, lighting, uh, monitor setup, uh, green screens, the what I've basically got set up here as an example of what you might be interested in setting up yourselves. Um, so don't think you have to get everything, just get um, uh, the bits that work for you and how to improve your particular delivery. So I'll start with the microphone. I've got, the, I've got a condenser mic here. Now a condenser mic is a pretty um, expensive kit um, and it's also um, probably over the top for what you need for general Zoom meetings. Um, but if you want to get the, um, the best sound, and I think sound is really important when you're doing a Zoom meeting, um, it's one thing to uh, have a poor audio, uh, sorry, poor uh, video connection, but uh, students are seldom prepared to uh, tolerate a poor audio connection. Um, so being able to hear people clearly is a very important um, setup within Zoom. Um, so I've got a condenser mic, but you can use other mics. You can use lapel mics. So these are mics that just um, stay somewhere on your shirt and pick up just the, um, the audio coming from your, your voice. Um, that's really important. You don't want to get ambient sounds coming in, um, dogs barking, kids crying. Those sorts of things are distracting to people who are listening to a Zoom meeting. So other than closing windows and uh, closing doors, um, you can also do other things like, for example, uh, turning on a fan, um, perhaps, or um, having some sort of ambient noise like music, um, which can drown out those background noises which may be distracting. Um, I've got another example of a mic here, um, which is a mic that just plugs in via USB into your computer um, and takes that digital sound um, straight into the computer, which is pretty handy too. Um, you'll see here I've also got a um, what's called a pop filter. Um, this filter pops out, or rather filters out, the um, pop sounds. These are the, the P's and the T's um, that generally um, max out um, a recording um, level. So try and use those basically to, to keep the sound nice and, nice and gentle, not too extreme. Otherwise that too can be distorting um, at the other end when um, students are listening to what's going on. Um, so looking at um, other things like monitors, for example. Now, this is, these are monitors. Um, extra monitors that I've attached to my laptop here. So I've got my laptop here with a, a screen on it, and then behind it I've got a larger monitor. So this larger monitor displays the students so I can see the students, um, and then I can display the slides or the, um, the content that I'm screen sharing with the students on my laptop monitor. And I've got the students on the larger monitor because the, that's where my camera is, and so I've got a separate USB webcam just above that um, separate monitor. And so when I'm looking at the students, I know that they can see me looking directly at them. Because it can be a bit disconcerting seeing someone looking in the, in the opposite direction or off to the left or off to the right when the camera's coming from a different place. So keep that in mind, the positioning of the camera versus the positioning of you. And you're more likely to look at the students. So to be able to put the, um, the camera there is a good way to um, make things work. I've also got the camera there because it's looking to the back of me and I've got my green screen here. Um, so the green screen enables me to use virtual backgrounds. Um, virtual backgrounds enable me to uh, create themes within my training. So I can have a different, um, different background, um, say for example a palatial background or a, a beach scene or um, a winter scene. And I can do a bit of variety in the way I deliver my training. So that when students are in there, it's something interesting. You know, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a topic for discussion during that day. Often you'll find that students, once they see you doing that, they will do it themselves. They'll reposition their desk. And I've got my desk positioned so behind me is a wall. And then I've got my desk. And then I've actually got space in the room to put my lighting. And the lighting is pretty important. So lighting comes down here and lights up my face. So I become more of the subject that is in the picture. I've also got lighting off to my left. So I've got two different lightings which enable me to, to highlight me as being here. It also enables the, the green screen to have an even um, color across it so that the green screen works effectively. If I have too many creases that create um, uh, shadows, those shadows, the harsher they are, the more likely the green screen is not going to work effectively. But you can see here I've got creases on the screen, uh, in the green screen, and it's not making a big difference. So if you have, um, if you can paint your wall or maybe um, put a sheet against it, that's a great way of ensuring the green screen works quite effectively. Um, so that's pretty much it. Um, you know, when it comes to webcams, just choose whatever webcam works for you. One that can be repositioned is a good idea. Um, I tend to have a different audio input compared to my webcam, just because I want the, uh, the sound to be close by. Um, I use two different uh, types of headphones. I've got these headphones here, 
which will allow me to block out noise from outside, but it's got a very good mic that connects into it. Um, I've also got, however, uh, these microphones here that are on the end of my, this is just from my mobile phone. So it's just my mobile phone connection, the earplugs that I can plug into my ears like this. I can plug into my computer and that allows me to use my props. So I've got a few different props down here. I've got uh, cool looking hats that I can wear. Now I couldn't wear that if I had my, my over the head um, uh, comfortable earphones on my can. I forgot my earbuds in. Um, and I've got a number of other props here, literally softy, soft toys um, and uh, other things like a collection of hats here um, that allows me to uh, vary um, the look um, of what's going on during the course. And to keep students engaged, these are the things that will, um, will keep them uh, second guessing what you're gonna wear and uh, making comments and uh, maybe even contributing. You'll find that uh, if you constantly wear a different hat, you'll find within a, a day or two, or maybe even on the same day, people will come along wearing their hats. And that just demonstrates the students are engaged, which is what it's all about. So um, yeah, that's pretty much it.